Cisco CCNA Certified Network Associate Exam Question number 1 Topic 1. A router has two fast Ethernet interfaces and needs to connect to four VLANs in the local network. How can you accomplish this task, using the fewest physical interfaces and without decreasing network performance? A. Use a hub to connect the four VLANs with a fast Ethernet interface on the router. B. Add a second router to handle the VLAN traffic. C. Add two more fast Ethernet interfaces. D. Implement a router on a stick configuration. Correct answer, D. Explanation. A router on a stick allows you to use sub-interfaces to create multiple logical networks on a single physical interface. Question number 2. Topic 1. Where does routing occur within the DoD TCP IP reference model? A. Application. B. Internet. C. Network. D. Transport. Correct answer. B. Explanation. The picture below shows the comparison between TCP IP model and OSI model. Notice that the Internet layer of TCP IP is equivalent to the network layer which is responsible for routing decision. Question number 5, Topic 1, A network interface port has collision detection and carrier sensing enabled on a shared twisted pair network. From this statement, what is known about the network interface port? A. This is a 10 megabits per second switch port. B. This is a 100 megabits per second switch port. C. This is an Ethernet port operating at half duplex. D. This is an Ethernet port operating at full duplex. E. This is a port on a network interface card in a PC. Correct answer. C. Explanation. Modern Ethernet networks built with switches and full duplex connections no longer utilize CSMA slash CD. CSMA slash CD is only used in obsolete shared media Ethernet, which uses repeater or hub. Question number 29. Topic 2. Which IEEE standard protocol is initiated as a result of successful DTP completion in a switch over fast Ethernet? A. 802.3 AED B. 802.1 W C. 802.1 D D. 802.1 Q Correct answer, D. Explanation. Dynamic Trunking Protocol, DTP, is a Cisco proprietary protocol for negotiating trunking on a link between two devices and for negotiating the type of trunking encapsulation, 802.1Q, to be used. Question number 30, Topic 2. What value is primarily used to determine which port becomes the root port on each non-root switch in a spanning tree topology? A. Path cost. B. Lowest port MAC address. C. VTP revision number. D. Highest port priority number. E. Port priority number and MAC address. Correct answer, A. Explanation. The path cost to the root bridge is the most important value to determine which port will become the root port on each non-root switch. In particular, the port with lowest cost to the root bridge will become root port, on non-root switch. Question number 32, Topic 2, What does a Layer 2 switch use to decide where to forward a received frame? A. Source MAC address B. Source IP address 
C. Source switch port. D. Destination IP address. E. Destination port address. F. Destination MAC address. Correct answer, F. Explanation. When a frame is received, the switch looks at the destination hardware address and finds the interface if it is in its MAC address table. If the address is unknown, the frame is broadcast on all interfaces except the one it was received on. Question number 33, Topic 2. A switch is configured with all ports assigned to VLAN 2 with full duplex fast Ethernet to segment existing departmental traffic. What is the effect of adding switch ports to a new VLAN on the switch? A. More collision domains will be created. B. IP address utilization will be more efficient. C. More bandwidth will be required than was needed previously. D. An additional broadcast domain will be created. Correct answer, D. Explanation. Each VLAN creates its own broadcast domain. Since this is a full duplex switch, each port is a separate collision domain. Question number 38, Topic 2, VLAN 3 is not yet configured on your switch. What happens if you set the switch port access VLAN 3 command in interface configuration mode? A. The command is rejected. B. The port turns amber. C. The command is accepted and the respective VLAN is added to VLAN. Dat. D. The command is accepted and you must configure the VLAN manually. Correct answer C. Explanation the switch port access VLAN 3 will put that interface as belonging to VLAN 3 while also updated the VLAN database automatically to include VLAN 3. Question number 39, Topic 2, Which of the following are benefits of VLANs? Choose 3. A. They increase the size of collision domains. B. They allow logical grouping of users by function. C. They can enhance network security. D. They increase the size of broadcast domains while decreasing the number of collision domains. E. They increase the number of broadcast domains while decreasing the size of the broadcast domains. F. They simplify switch administration. Correct answers. B. C. E. Explanation. When using VLAN the number and size of collision domains remain the same. VLANs allow to group users by function, not by location or geography. VLANs help minimize the incorrect configuration of VLAN so it enhances the security of the network. VLAN increases the size of broadcast domains but does not decrease the number of collision domains. VLANs increase the number of broadcast domains while decreasing the size of the broadcast domains which increase the utilization of the links. It is also a big advantage of VLAN. VLANs are useful but they are more complex and need more administration. Question number 40, Topic 2, Which switch would SDP choose to become the root bridge in the selection process? A. 32768, 1122 33 44 55 66. B. 32768, 22 33 44 55 66 77. C. 32769, 1122 33 44 55 65. D. 32769. 22 33 44 55 66 78 Correct answer, A. Explanation. The root bridge of the spanning tree is the bridge with the smallest, lowest, bridge ID. Each bridge has a configurable priority number and a MAC address, 
the bridge ID contains both numbers combined together, bridge priority plus MAC, 32768.0200.0000.1111. The bridge priority default is 32768 and can only be configured in multiples of 4096 spanning to use as the 12-bits extended system ID. To compare two bridge IDs, the priority is compared first, as if looking at a real number anything less than 32768, will become the target of being the root. If two bridges have equal priority then the MAC addresses are compared, for example, if switches A, MAC equals 0200.0000.1111, and B, MAC equals 0200.0000.2222, both have a priority of 32768 then switch A will be selected as the root bridge. In this case, 32768, 11 22 33 44 55 66 would be the bridge because it has a lower priority and MAC address.